So this is going to be a quick screencast on uh, using Vim with C tags. Uh, so C tags is a is a tagging result. It creates a uh, an index uh, from your source code, and um, and then you can t uh, tell Vim to look for that particular tag file. It does not create a binary index. It creates a a, a textual index, so you can you can see what's in there. Uh, but yeah, it, but there are other programs like like C scope and uh, like there's a globals, but they work well for C. But uh, like C tags have like a wide variety of uh, uh, language support like C C sharp, uh, Java, Python, C plus plus, whatnot. So um, I usually use it with C plus uh, plus, but yeah, that's what I'm going to show. But anyways, so yeah, first you need to of course you need to download it and then you need to generate your tag file. You know something like this, and and I usually specify uh, a particular folder where I uh, my my tags go into, but you can. You can put this in uh, by default. It puts in your current directory. Uh, so yeah, once once you have uh, once you have set this up, uh, you you can read about these configuration options in the C tags help file. But yeah, uh, once you have set this up, then you tell Vim that okay, this is uh, this is where my tag file is located for this particular project by using something like this. And once you have set this up, then you can start uh, you know navigating using uh, using uh, uh, C tags uh, that particular tag file. So, mm, so yeah. So you start doing something like this. You say uh, this is the first command. Let's you say let's say add one. So and then it'll take you to the that particular uh, you know tag. In this case, the function, right? So and then uh, you know there's obviously a shortcut for that. You can just use Control uh, and square bracket, and that will take you there. You know, and you can you, you can keep on doing that. Uh, so you you're in a search session, you want to understand, you're, you're just trying to understand what what the code is doing. So you just keep on doing that, and then you can go back using you know uh, pop. So you can just do p o, uh, or you could use a shortcut like control t. So you know uh, this is this is what I'm doing. I'm going here, and so. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is it creates a tag stack. So it, it so if you do tags, you can see you can see where you are uh, in, in your tag stack. So if I if I go back using Control T and Control T again, so if I uh, do tags again, so you see this uh, this little uh, angle bracket. This is telling me where you know where it is right now in the tag stack. And you like uh, there are commands to move forward and backward in the tag stack. You, you already saw pop for going backward, and then you can just do ta again to go forward in the tag stack. So that's that's one concept. Uh, right? Uh, you can al also do like something like sta, which will open that particular tag in a split window. So I I say whatever. Uh, let's, let's just do do that again. So it'll open that particular tag in a split window. Uh, it's good for like something like header files. You know, you're you're working on a header file and the implementation file together. So yeah, so you can do that. And uh, and another another concept in 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 uh, Vim is uh, uh, for your C tags interface is that uh, a matching tag list. So so let's say so this is uh, so th I'm I'm in add. So this is showing me the next one, but I'm in add, right? So uh, if I do uh, 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 so TS, it will show me all the other ad defined in this project. So you know you you're going you're going to uh, you, you set TA uh, particular function. It's not the right one. Then you can just do TS, and then you can you know go to let's say this one, or uh, you know, th this is not the right one. You can go to this one, and then within this uh, you know tag searches tag matching list for that particular tag where you are in the tag uh, tag stack. You can do TN to go to the next one, or TP to go to the previous one, and you know you can you can keep on doing like this. And of course, if you do, if you, so this is where you're in, the, in your tag tag. If I go back, so right now I'm in add. If I if I just go back uh, to, you know whatever add one, and then if I do ST or TS, uh, then it's, it's showing me for that particular you know entry in your tag tag all the matching tags uh, in your in your project. So it's it's really nice uh, to you know navigate through your project, uh, uh, especially if the you know the project is big enough. So you know uh, these things are really useful. So, um, anyways, uh, and of course you can do like uh, so in, in your ta matching tag list you can do to TF to go to the first matching tag, and then you're going to go to like TL to go to the last matching tag. So you know uh, you can do something like this and. Uh, 
yeah I mean and this is nice and there's also an ST uh, the split window variant of you know this as well so you can do something like uh, STS and if you do three it will open the split window right uh, so yeah um, of course there are like shortcuts for this so you know if I if I go back and if I do like G closing square bracket oops uh, this thing and yeah and then it will show you the so see again yeah so this is how you can just uh, quickly see the uh, matching tab list right so uh, yeah and another another nice thing is the preview tab so let's say you're here you are you are you know you, you're writing this function and you just forgot where uh, how do add is defined you can just quickly do um, control w and this uh, which will show you in a little preview window over here you know so and the nice thing about this is uh, it it you know keeps updating. So if I do another one, it it does this. Basically, it's running this PTA command, right? So if I do, you know, this is the command it is running. Then shortcut is Control W and then uh, you know the squiggly bracket, uh, and and that's what it shows. And then you can close this by using Control W and Z. Oops, Control W and Z. And so you can use Control W and this to open it up and then Z to close it. It's really nice to you know quickly s you know see uh, you know particular definition of a function or whatever. So yeah, that's about tags and another another uh, nice uh, uh, thing in uh, you know uh, Vim for especially for C plus plus programs is uh, include file searches. So you know which is uh, so let's say I want to uh, I want to see how wh where else uh, this add parameter is used in this entire file. I can just do opening square bracket and uh, big I, and it'll show in this in this thing. It'll show all the places uh, where this add parameters is used. Uh, right now, it's showing only in this particular file. But if you have uh, like include path set up properly, it'll show in all the include files uh, as well, which are included in this particular file. So you can you can see all the places where this is defined. So and then there are like variants for this. So let's see. I want to see. So let's say you are here and you want to see, you know, how, how this, uh, you know, variable is defined. You can just do small, and it will show in the in the bottom, uh, you know, the status line. What is the uh, how it is defined? The first the first matching one uh, for this particular uh, variable, right? And um, and so uh, the other uh, there are other variants as well. So if you are, if you are here, you just want to see where else is this is used after this line so you can just do closing square bracket and big i and now it will only show you the lines matching after the particular current line so there were 15 so let's say if i if i come here right so you can see uh, oops, I put that one wrong. yeah so you just see there are only 12 now so so it shows only the after the the, the current line so this is really nice to see you know where your variable is used in your uh, in your in your in your uh, you know current file and also there is a uh, oops I didn't mean to do that uh, so there is also a, this variant IL and you know then you can just specify uh, whatever some regex uh, and that will match uh, you know whatever regex it is matching so uh, so there is also a, a command version of that uh, so again IL add parameters you know it's it's it does that the same thing and you know you could you could do a you know you specify a range you know usual Vim stuff uh, over that so which is really nice another cool thing in Vim is uh, macro but uh, yeah I don't use that that often but yeah so let's say you have a macro like my whatever one and then uh, and then here's it's defined somewhere over here it's defined somewhere over here uh, my and whatever you're doing something in this function whatever and then if you want to see well, what's the definition of this macro you can do uh, the same thing with I like uh, opening square bracket and D and then it will show a list of there where this macro is defined you could use I as well uh, but that will that will you know show everything uh, this uh, uh, this world is matching so but this will only show you the you know the uh, the macros so really nice uh, you can also the small version of this you know uh, so what I was uh, so uh, what I was showing was that you know if you could also go to the first definition basically you could do something like uh, 
uh, opening square bracket and control I and it will take you the first uh, definition of that uh, that particular thing same with macro you could do something like uh, uh, I think it's uh, opening square bracket and control D and then it will take you to that the defi definition of that macro so yeah I mean so yeah that's really nice uh, uh, you know to to do you know to quickly look up uh, you know variables and macros in your in your, in your uh, uh, source code um, there's also a nice plugin called tagbar um, uh, which uh, you know uh, which, which which nicely categorizes you know stuff like you know this is uh, these are the various things that uh, that it has uh, you know found of course it didn't find my macro because we didn't didn't generate the uh, the tag after that but anyways yeah it it, it can you know uh, you can click on that and you know you can you can you can get a nice overview of your uh, source file so yeah and you can set it up to auto refresh and stuff like that uh, if, if you change source file it will you know change the uh, the matching uh, tags for that particular file so yeah so yeah that's about it uh, yeah thanks